Hello and welcome to week one of the month one of Overcome program. I am really excited for this week. I love this week. The focus is all about relaxation and letting go. So for this routine, you will likely need some yoga blocks. You might need some pillows and you may also need a yoga strap or a belt that you can wrap around your foot for one of the exercises. The whole purpose really is to be calm, come into the moment and to slow down. It can be really hard to do that, but our focus phrase this week will really help. The focus phrase that I want you to have in your mind is I am present, I am safe, and I am calm. So we will be repeating that throughout the practice. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And you're gonna begin lying down on your back. You might wanna have a pillow, extra pillows handy, maybe even one for under your head if you'd like. But we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some variations. You might need yoga blocks. It just depends on your comfort. So come on down through your side. And one variation for this is to have your feet wide and your knees just up like this. Another variation is to have your knees dropped together. So your feet nice and wide and your knees dropped together. To me, that feels really good, but again, everybody's different here. A final variation that you might like is to have your feet actually closer together and your knees dropped apart. And this is where having yoga blocks or pillows might be really, really helpful so that you feel super supported and just really secure and comfortable. So I'm gonna show that position, but again, anything works. Knees up, knees together, whatever you like. So our first exercise is really just coming into the moment and breathing down into your belly, down into your pelvic floor and your lower ribs, and then exhaling. So I want you to just begin with a few breaths on your own. Again, you're really expanding down into the belly and the pelvic floor as you inhale. And then as you exhale, you can feel your belly draw in. Take your time with this, keep breathing, and remember our focus phrase for today. I am present, I am safe, and I am calm. I'd like you now to go ahead and place one hand on the belly and one hand on your heart, chest area. We're gonna do three part breathing. So for this, I want you to first Fill your belly. So first begin by expanding your inhale down into your belly. So breathe into your belly. And then you're gonna breathe into your lower ribs. And then you're gonna fill all the way up into your upper lungs. Still on the inhale, it's a three-part inhale. Hold it briefly. And then as you exhale, I want you to first exhale the air out of your lungs. Feel them fall. Then out of your ribs. Feel them fall, and then out of your belly, feel it fall. So to walk you through it again, it's three parts in and three parts out. For the inhale, you wanna start with the belly, breathe into the belly, then breathe into the lower ribs, and then breathe all the way up into the upper lungs, hold it for a moment, all the way to the top, and then now exhale first out of the upper lungs, and then exhaling out of the ribs, and then exhaling out of the belly. The belly pulls in. I'll walk you through that one more time. So as you breathe in, your belly expands, then your lungs expand, your ribs expand, then the tippity top, the uppermost portion of your lungs expand too. So you're breathing all the way to the top, and then now exhale, release the air from the upper lungs first, and then from the ribs and lower part of the lungs, and then feel your belly pull in. I'm gonna go ahead and let you do three to four more breaths on your own, just go at your own count. And if you'd like, you can continue with that three-part breath where you breathe in low, and then the breath comes up into your upper lungs. And then as you breathe out, you reverse it. So the breath leaves your upper lungs and then comes out of your lower part of your lungs and your ribs, and then your belly draws in. 
But the focus, if that's too much for you, no worries. What I'd really like you to focus most on is just expansion as you breathe in and then the coming inward in the fall of the belly and the ribs as you exhale. And I'd also like you to focus on slowing the breathing down, especially the exhale. See if you can make the exhale be a little bit longer than the inhale. I'm gonna do two more breaths with you right now and I'm gonna be really quiet. So I'm just gonna breathe and I want you to breathe with me. Again, try to make the exhale just a little bit longer than the inhale. Nice job. Hopefully we're all back together there. So we're really calming the nervous system with that breathing pattern. That's really the first step is just calming the nervous system. And now we can move into our stretches. So go ahead and remove the blocks from the sides if you had them there. And we're going to drop the left leg out to the side. Right leg can stay bent just as it is up here. And I'd like you to place your left hand on your left inner thigh. Feel that gentle stretch of your groin area. And we're gonna hold these first few stretches about four to five breaths. So just start breathing and relaxing and moving into these stretches. If you'd like to, you can straighten the right leg out. Now, when that right leg straightens out, try to feel that the hip spike, the anterior superior iliac spine, this hip point right here, make sure that it stays down. You can even use your hand on your hip or your pelvis to make sure that your pelvis stays really level. If you feel that your pelvis is tipping like this when you straighten out that leg, then it's a sign that actually it would be better for you to have the knee bent on this side. So whatever position you're in, whether this leg is straight or bent like I'm showing, just breathe here. Again, I like to go ahead and place my left hand on the left inner thigh so I can feel that stretch right where we're, right where we're going for is right in here. So breathe deeply, I'm trying to make that exhale just a little bit longer than the inhale to really calm and soothe the nervous system. Two more breaths. And as you're breathing, I'd like for you to repeat our focus phrase, our affirmation, which is, I am present, I am safe, and I am calm. Go ahead and finish up. You're doing great. And now bring your leg that's on the ground, just bring it up very gently, moving slowly, always staying here in the moment with me, right in the moment. And we're gonna go straight into the other side. So now the right leg comes down onto the ground and feel that right inner thigh, inner groin area stretch. The left leg can stay right where it is, bent, or as long as that hip spike, the spike of the pelvis, the anterior superior iliac spine, as long as it doesn't tip like this, then you can go ahead and leave that left leg straight on the ground. Feel free to adjust your position so you feel a nice stretch in the inner groin area. If it tweaks your back at all, or again, if you're tipping your pelvis, then go ahead and bend up that left leg again. There is no need to go too fast, too far, or too far, too fast with these stretches right now. So breathe deeply. And being present in our bodies, being still in our bodies can be hard when we have pain. So that's why we're so focused on using the breath 
to help calm the nervous system and to help us realize that we are safe. So maybe one more time as you finish out your last couple of deep, slow breaths, repeat to yourself our focus phrase once again, I am present, I am safe, and I am calm. Nice job. Now go ahead and bring that right leg that's on the ground back up. And if you want to just kind of shift around a little bit, you can. We're going to bring now one knee to your chest. So let's start with the left leg. These stretches are really simple, but they're powerful, especially when you couple the deep breathing with your stretches. So your right leg can stay bent up, this leg here, or you can straighten it down. If that tweaks your back or makes your back need to arch or anything that feels funny, then bend it a little bit or a lot, whatever feels good to you. So the hands can be behind your hamstring or over your shin, whatever feels good to you. I want you to feel a slight stretch in the back of your gluteals, your, the back of your hip on the left leg and on the right leg, you'll feel a gentle stretch on the front of your hip, your hip flexor area. So breathe deeply. This stretch is also really good for digestion and super, super calming. So just find a comfortable position. Again, these stretches we're just holding for four to five breaths. And if it ever feels really good for you, you can absolutely very gently move the leg around. So the bent leg here, you can just move it side to side super gently but only if that feels good. Finish up that breath. Exhales a little bit longer than the inhales. And then go ahead and switch right into the other side. So carefully, slowly bring up that right straight leg and let's go ahead and switch. I'm always moving slowly between our sides. Again, your hands can be behind the thigh, the hamstring area, or above the shin. And this left leg can be bent all the way up, it can be bent a little bit up, or it can be totally straight, whatever feels good to you. Just be sure that it's not irritating your back at all. Breathe deeply. And I like to remind people that breathing through your nose is actually the most calming way to breathe. So sometimes I'll demonstrate out my mouth just so you can hear me, but breathing out of your nose is really the very most calming and soothing way to tame the nerves and just bring you into the moment. So if you can breathe in and out of your nose, that is ideal. Again, if you need to move and groove your bent leg hip just a little bit, that's totally fine. Motion is lotion, as I always like to say. And just finish up one more deep breath in and out, nice and slow. And now carefully bring that straight leg back up and drop the right leg. And we'll move into figure four. So I'm gonna show you some variations for this stretch. So left foot, is gonna go on top of the right thigh, just above the knee. And what I'd like for you to do is just start like this. And you can see here that I have a nice bend in my left knee. I feel this in my left inner thigh and also my left outer hip. To feel it more, you can actually press with your left hand and straighten that elbow and feel that nice stretch. Now try not to let yourself tip over like this. We want to really keep our hips square on the ground. If you want more, then you can use a block under your right foot. And you might have to kind of wiggle it into place, but that's a nice way to increase the stretch and still feel super, super supported. If you want even more than that, then you can thread your uh, hands through your right leg and hold on behind your right thigh. But I'm actually gonna show the version where my foot is on the block because I love the way it feels to just be so supported 
and yet still feeling a really nice stretch in the left inner thigh and the left outer hip. So a couple more deep breaths, relaxing into the stretch. And when you feel like you've relaxed all the way, when you feel like your joints and, and your muscles are kind of melting away from the bones, see if you can relax just a little bit more. So really, really relax into it. Last breath here, in and out, nice and slow. Let's go into the exact same stretch, other side. So very slowly move in and out of these positions. So try to do whatever you did on side one, try to do the same thing on side two. So maybe you had your foot flat on the ground. That's totally fine. Maybe you had your arm, your arm pressing to help open up that hip. That's great too. If you wanted a little bit more, like I showed, you can move and position that yoga block so that it's under your left foot now. Just elevating that leg, bringing the ground up a little bit, still giving you a ton of support, but increasing the stretch just a little bit more. Just do only what feels good to you. You might need to reposition your foot. Just do what you need to do to get comfy and breathe and be here now be here in the present moment in your body and just know that you're safe you're calm and breathing one more breath in and out All right, release the leg very slowly. And if that was ever hard on your knees, then just know that flexing at your ankle will be helpful for you. And also don't elevate your foot, just keep your foot, other foot down on the ground and that'll also make it a little easier. So just be really careful of your knees in that pose. So go ahead and bring your feet down and I'm gonna move my block out of the way. And we're gonna go into stirring the pot. So bring your right leg up, your left leg up to join, and just stir your legs around. Again, I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. Motion is lotion. It is so important to keep your joints mobile and moving, especially when you're in pain. It can be hard to want to move. It's scary because you are worried you might experience a flare up and you're sometimes, you know, very tight. But that's why we do these very gentle stretches and we bring in the breath and this very gentle, slow and easy movement to show you that you can move without pain. So go ahead and go the other way. Circle your legs around the other way, stirring the pot. Your legs come apart and then they come together, breathing steadily. And now I'm going to show you a new move that I like to call open like a book. So we're opening and closing like a book. So go ahead and bring both of your legs down toward the left, kind of fun to fall over toward the left. And then now bring your right leg, your top leg up, 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 and swing through the middle, open like a book. And then you're going to close your legs down toward the right. So opening like a book, rocking side to side, open like a book, and then close. Open and close. Just a, one more time each side. Breathing steadily. This is calming to the nervous system to rock. Rocking back and forth and side to side is very, very soothing. Go ahead and come back up to the middle. And in this position here, I'm gonna move you into frog stretch. So you're gonna bring your legs, this is a starter position right here. You can absolutely have your hands to the sides of your knees or even um, holding onto your thighs if that's the farthest that you can open your legs, that's totally fine. Just start right here. So my elbows are supported on the ground. It's an arm strengthener too. So you can hold it right here, shoulders nice and relaxed, holding and breathing, 
Or if you can open your inner thighs a little bit more, then thread your hands through your legs and hold on to the outside of the shins or the outside of the ankles. And you're just gonna hold this frog stretch. Legs are open and apart and breathe deeply. Continuing to try to extend the exhalation. It's very, very calming to make the exhale, the breathing out just a little bit longer than the inhale. Let's just do one more nice, slow, deep breath. Shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Neck is long. And carefully set your feet down one at a time. Legs wide. We're just gonna windshield out, wiper out the legs. So drop one knee down toward the bottom of the mat and then the other knee down toward the bottom of the mat. Like a windshield wiper, hands can be up at the sides or wherever it feels good to you. Just a couple more times. Feel into this. Really stretch that hip. And let's go ahead on the next one, come all the way onto your side and come up to a seated position. So through your side, exhale, press yourself up. And we're gonna move into our knee, head to knee stretch. So I'm just gonna turn a little bit here. And I'm actually just gonna grab my phone right now because I want to make sure that we hold our poses for about 90 seconds for this next round on each side. So you're gonna bring your right leg straight and you might wanna sit up on the edge of a folded blanket or even fold the back of your yoga mat over for this. If you're tight at all in your hips, prop your hips up a little bit. I'm also gonna grab my yoga strap. Again, if you don't have a yoga strap, that's totally okay. A belt or a scarf is great, or you don't need it, but it can make the stretch a little bit more comfortable and it can keep your alignment better too. So right leg is straight, left leg is bent, and I'm just gonna start by sitting up really, really tall on my sitting bones. So sitting up really tall. Again, being on the edge of a folded up blanket or something like that can be very helpful if you're tight. Now, if you have that strap, you're gonna wrap it around the ball of your foot. And I want you to inhale nice and tall and exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Make sure to exhale and gently draw that belly in. That can be helpful. And then just breathe normally. I don't want you holding that belly in the whole time. Just relax. Now, if you had the strap, if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can move your hands forward. If you don't have the strap, then you can absolutely just have your hands on the floor. Now, if everything feels really, really good for you here, then I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, start the timer. So if everything feels really good for you here, then I want you to go ahead and let your back round. I want you to let yourself just relax. Now, if that hurts your back, if you feel any strain at all in your low back, then stay lifted. But again, I'm now gonna come on down and I'm gonna let my back round. I'm kind of walking my sitting bones back. So I'm really getting that lengthening in the back of the leg. And I'm folding forward, letting my back round, letting my head hang. You can still be using the strap for this if you want, but only if that feels good. Breathe deeply and just know that forward folds like this are extremely calming to the nervous system, just like the breathing that we've been doing. So continue to fold forward and breathe slowly. I've got the timer going. We're doing a long hold for this just because this is such a great stretch. Feel your muscles unwinding, the tension unwinding. And know and repeat to yourself, I am present, I am safe, I am calm. 
All right. Walk your hands back. Carefully, carefully. And we're going to go to the other side. So same exact thing, other side. So now my left leg is straight and my right leg is in. Sitting up really tall. And just find that perfect position before I start the 90 second timer for this. Find that really nice position. Maybe you need to stay right up here with your hands behind you and you can feel plenty of stretch behind the back of your hamstring, the back of your leg. But if you want a little bit more, then you can crawl your hands forward, hinging at your hips. You can also use that block. So your back is still nice and long. You're inhaling and then exhaling and folding. And if that feels really good, you're, you're like, okay, I want more. Then I'm going to go ahead and start my timer and we're going to move into the rounding of the back. If you want it, if this hurts your back at all, don't do it. Stay lifted. But if you're good, then let yourself round over. So you're feeling the stretch in the back of your leg and all the way up your back. The whole back body is being stretched. And you're breathing. Shoulders down away from your ears. Shift around, shift your hips as much as you need to to get comfortable. When you feel like your muscles are melting away from your bones, when you feel like you've relaxed all the way See if you can relax just a little bit more. I am present. I am safe. I am calm. Hold on, you're almost there. Good job. Bring your hands back carefully. And we're going to bring our feet together now into a butterfly position. In this position, though, I want you to go ahead and let your feet be forward. You don't need to bring them all the way back to your groin area. So go ahead and let them be forward. Sitting up tall for this. And I'm going to go ahead and start the timer again. Another 90 second hold. You're gonna bring your hands behind you and I want you to sit up really tall on your sitting bones. Now, if you have the flexibility and you want more, then you can hold on to your ankles and you can go ahead and hinge forward at your hips, maybe even use your elbows to press your legs down. But for this week, if you're tight at all, I want you to just stay lifted here in your spine, long spine, shoulders down away from your ears and breathe. Focus on the present moment. Focus on being in your body. Know that you're safe. Know that this gentle stretching is the best possible work that you can do for yourself right now. Keep going, you're almost there. Breathing deeply. Good job. And now hands forward and bring your feet flat onto the ground and we'll just do a couple of windshield wipers. And our last stretch is a child's pose. So for this, you might need a pillow or a blanket, something like that to put behind your thighs. And I'll show you what I mean. Might grab something like this and put it behind your thighs if, if you need that. 
Um, you can also grab something for under your head if you need that too, but I'm gonna put it to the side for now and I'm gonna show you the stretch. It's very, very simple. You're gonna first begin by sitting up nice and tall and lifted. And in this position, face forward and inhale, exhale, crawl your hands forward. Again, knowing that you can have the blanket or the pillow right there. Crawl your hands forward and just rest in child's pose. Ultimately, your forehead will be touching the floor. That's very, very restful to have that, that forehead on the floor position, but it can also be on a pillow or a yoga block. Hands can be forward or behind you, whatever feels good. Hold it here for a full minute and a half, a full 90 seconds. Breathe deeply and relax. Keep breathing down into your low back, down into your low belly. Down into your kidneys. And the last time I want you to repeat to yourself one more time. I am present. I am safe. I am calm. Walk your hands back and carefully press yourself up. Come very slowly. Your head comes up last. We don't want you to get dizzy. All right, great job with week one. I hope that you'll come back and do these every day. I like to do them in the morning because it starts your day off on a great note. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow.